been uh, at this mission for the past 65 years and provide them with time, more than time actually. It's, it's, uh, it's hope. Lately it's become a sense of false hope. People are scared. I'm good, man. Uh, just take a minute, man. I just right. want to ask you a couple questions. I just got to get to work. It's important. I just want to know one or two things. OK, shoot. I don't have a lot of time. Well, how much time do you have? More than an hour, less than a day. All right. Well, you don't seem that concerned about it, though. I've had less. Okay, does it concern you that uh, the people in New Greenwich, they got uh, hundreds of years on their clocks, and you got practically nothing? I, I don't worry about what people in New Greenwich do. OK, well, have you ever been there? Do you uh, know anybody who's ever been there? Do your friends ever been there? No, you I don't. What? What, do you, what is this? What, do you, what are you guys doing? To try to help you people. Making this movie about you people. Dayton, trying to help you What's that supposed to mean? The issues that you have in there. Raymond Leon, I'm a timekeeper. How long have you been a timekeeper? Uh, 50 years. Can you explain to us what a timekeeper is? Yeah, it keeps time. So, how many people time out a day in Dayton? <sighs> Approximately. I don't know, you're gonna have to. Uh, I don't do statistics, man. Would you say that there's a lot of crime in the neighborhood? You could say that. Does it bother you that time is unequally distributed? <clears throat> you know, I'm just doing my job. That's what I do. My name is Sylvia Weiss, and I'm 25, and two birthdays, 27. How much time does your family have? I don't know. It's not really something we sit around and talk about. So you don't know if your father's worth a million years? <sighs> Sorry, you might want to ask him. I mean, if he knew that I was doing this, there would be an army of lawyers and bodyguards here right now and I'd be getting another lecture about my risky behavior. He thinks the entire world outside of New Greenwich is a threat to him, to all of us. And what I would like is to be able to make up my own mind and travel. I, I would love to see how other people live outside of this time zone, whatever. I just don't want to sit around anymore. I, I don't want to sit around and, and collecting decades from my trust fund and trying not to do anything risky. Who wants to spend forever like that? How's Sylvia? She's good, she's great. You know, she loves taking years off of my life. I think she does it for sport. I love that girl, but I honestly don't know what makes her tick. So uh, I'd like to find out your reaction to charges that your company engages in predatory lending and price. Well, I'm not at liberty to discuss an ongoing investigation, but I will say that the charges are baseless and we will be completely exonerated. There seems to be a growing feeling that the time differences between the zones is unfair. We were just in Dayton talking well, to a lot of people. consider your source. Making a change were as easy as giving out a millennia or two to the lower zones. I'd be the first in line, arm out, ready to give my share. But the truth is, this is a system that needs balance, okay? It needs winners, it needs losers. Even if the losers die. All right. Interview's over. Do you think it's fair that you have so much time and people around here have so much time and the people of Dayton have almost nothing? Do I think it's fair? Are you kidding me? It was never fair. The illusion of fairness is all those poor souls ever had. How come you know? How come I know? Because I'm here and they're there. All right, and for a few to be immortal, many must die.